as he has stated, it's a fitting place for us to hold this press conference because the eyes of the nation are now on Mount Soledad Veterans Memorial, as well they should be. It is also a fitting time as we're on the eve of the Memorial Day remembrance of those who have given their lives in defense of this country, only to see today that their heirs and descendants and comrades have to fight to maintain memorials because they may contain a symbol of our history and heritage which has a religious aspect. And because perhaps one or more atheists or agnostics are offended, we have a reality today where a judge can issue an order to, dis to discredit and disgrace and desecrate this monument by amputation. This monument is a, of a whole. It is all the plaques you see that, have been, that this association has worked so hard to get up, but it includes that cross that had its origination in 1913, long before any judge even thought it could be remotely unconstitutional. We find ourselves today with modern day judges sitting like feudal lords and deciding that crosses or other symbols of our heritage cannot be tolerated in our society because even though they were constitutional when erected to honor our veterans, today they are not because modern judges have so decided. The veterans in American Legion Department of California do not believe that the founders of this nation ever contemplated that anyone would construe the political doctrine of separation of church and state as a constitutional one and use it to attack Boy Scouts, the Ten Commandments, and our veterans' memorials. Well, today we are giving notice for the Department of California, of the American Legion, that we're drawing a line in the sand. And it's this far and no farther. And we're giving notice to every agnostic, every atheist, every mincing, self-appointed, self-righteous, secular cleansing attorney or member of the ACLU that we are going to fight you. We're going to fight you in every court action. We will fight you in the courts. We'll fight you in the legislatures. And if we have to, we'll fight you in the streets. But we will fight you and we will win in the end. We are not going to stand back and idly watch out of control ACLU on its mention of secular cleansing and an out of control judiciary rewrite our constitution and take away any semblance or remembrance of our own history and heritage under their doctrines as lawyers. Lawyers, a singular class, has taken over one third of our government the judiciary unto itself, so even the best and brightest of our land cannot sit in the remotest court in the farthest backwater of this country, but only lawyers can sit. And they have taken over and usurped the authority of our elected officials, and we intend to put an end to that and name what is happening in the judiciary today what it is. It is judicial tyranny, and we need to stop it. We need to have term limits for judges, and we need to take them out of those, lo those robes they wear and bring them down to earth with the humanity they're supposed to serve. Yeah. Part of what we are doing, part of what we are doing requires Congress to recognize that it must pass the Public Expression of Religion Act, H.R. 2679, because that act strongly supported by the National American Legion and the Department of California, that act will remove from judges the authority to hand taxpayer paid attorney fee awards to the ACLU, to any atheist who decides he wants to enrich a lawyer, and anyone else who will follow these precedents, taking the money of taxpayers in the millions annually and creating a situation that distorts the democratic process because cities and counties and school boards are afraid to act for fear if they do not surrender to the ACLU that they will be stuck with those attorney fees.
And as we enter this litigation, we say to Congress, pass this act so veterans can fight the ACLU and others of its ilk without the threat of imposition of those taxpayer paid attorney fees. The ACLU has disgraced the civil rights movement. 25 years ago, I was an ACLU staff attorney. And today I'm utterly ashamed, ashamed that it has become the Taliban of American liberal secularism wiping our history clean. I've got a nine-year-old. She will damn well know her history because we won't allow this to be torn down. Right? We are able to do this in part because the Alliance Defense Fund has come to the aid of the American Legion Department of California when we called upon them to assist us in the Mojave Desert Memorial case, another atrocity. And out of those meetings, principally with Joe and Franco, who will speak today, we have created this project. Our principal involvement at this point is going to be to aid and support the efforts of Chuck LaMandre and Charles LaMandre, lead counsel, who has done, as we said, a magnificent job. And we are going to be, for the first time, actively participating in the litigation in support of all of his efforts and the efforts of the citizens who have attempted to save this monument. And I will say to you, as our president said in another context, the American Legion Department of California and its allies, including the Alliance Defense Fund, Charles LaMandry, and the Thomas More Law Center, we will not tire, we will not fail, falter, and we will not fail. Believe me. Right.